I'm wearing my bee scrunchie because we're gonna build a honeycomb house. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. So I wasn't even really planning on filming this video, but a few days ago I saw this post on Instagram of a honeycomb house and I thought it was so, so cute. And I also wanted to build a house like it. And then I saw my friend Sydney do it on both TikTok and YouTube and starting like this honeycomb build challenge. So I was going to do it for TikTok anyway. So here we are with a YouTube video. So I've already gone in and done this like shell for the house. I think this is how it's supposed to look. I'm gonna do my raising up the columns with a bracket key trick that I just learned so that we can have some proper support here. So I think what I do is I delete these diagonal walls. Oh my god, wait, they're all diagonal. Now the one I saw on Instagram, I don't think that one was functional, but I think Sydney was able to make hers functional. I almost want to make this like bright yellow and happy, like almost bee honeycomb themed. We have to use the honeycomb floors, duh. The thing is that we can't do ladders or stairs on diagonals, but I think if we put one there, it may look a little weird, but I think your sim will be okay. Okay, so that is functional. Like he will be able to get to that area. He'll just glitch through the floor though. I haven't even given thought to these top levels yet but I think let's start here this can be like the entrance way it's weird not having like a door you know to have like a doormat and stuff like I'm just gonna randomly be putting stuff in here and everything being at a diagonal makes everything a little bit sad like the sectionals and the counters won't snap together I'm gonna use this art from the gallery look how cute it is I actually don't know if I want this little like welcome way rug like, maybe just like a different rug would be better it all looks kind of weird in this lighting oh I forgot like we should actually be adding lights but since we can't have overhead lights we have to do wall lights. I mean, technically we could add an overhead light. However, it has nothing to hang on. I also don't know if I want to put things on like the outer edges of the rooms. Like I don't want to block the view of the other stuff. So maybe mm, I might just leave it go. So that's our little like entranceway, but also living area, but also skill building. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we do a kitchen here and maybe since the ladder is in such a weird place, we can do the bathroom here. Maybe try and cover it up. So let's see, what should we do for the kitchen? Maybe some gray could be cute with the yellow. It's weird to do this with the way the lighting is. Like it feels so weird to be building all this outside. I'm gonna put the range hood there and then sneak a light like, behind it, I think. I think we have to be a little bit sneaky with some of this. Like I'll sneak a light under there. I'll sneak a light right there. I'm trying to add some clutter and I feel like you know, we could put some like plants in here because you obviously get really great sunlight. I've been loving this item from Eco Lifestyle lately. Like I size it down. I don't really know why you'd specifically have this in your kitchen, but it looks cute. So I know I want the yellow, but I want actually different tiles. I would love some like yellow tiles. Oh, we could do something like that. That's pretty cute, actually. Or these ones. I think these ones are the winner. All right, I think this is our kitchen. She's super cute. I love that I was like, oh, this will be a good spot for the bathroom, and it's fully in the center of the house. I was never really opposed to wood floors in my bathrooms, but I saw a picture on Instagram recently of wood floors in a bathroom, and I didn't like it. So that's made me reassess, and I think I want to be having tiles in my bathrooms from now on. I wonder if your sims will get the, like, weird moodlet from being like, oh, open shower, oh, public shower. Wait, I like having windows above the toilet and I like having windows right there, but they look really silly that they're not symmetrical and lined up that way. So no windows behind the toilet. Now, how are we going to do the lighting for this room? We could add a couple of these like between the mirrors or around the mirrors. Maybe let's just like get one, a couple of these and size them down so you can't really see them, but they still provide the light. Oh, and we could put some like spa day candles around, like just for the ambiance, right? Okay, there's our bathroom. I might just add another little light right there. Stop. Why is it kind of cute though? Maybe this can be like a dining area off of the kitchen almost. It almost feels like I'm building like a movie set. You know how they have like an open wall like so that they can get the right camera shots. I'm also going to grab these paintings from Holy Schmo Wow. I just love cute CC art. Like there's literally nothing better. Again, I like these plants here because obviously there should be more to the room over here but like I don't want it to take away from the rest of the room. So maybe I should move this to be more central. Like I don't know what else goes in a dining area area. Right, I put a little speaker right there. That's really all I could think to like put there. I like it. It has lots of like plants and color. I think I'm gonna have this be like the more formal living area. Like there's gonna be a TV and then up here I'll do two bedrooms. I feel like that sounds good. Ooh, so which way do I want it facing? Do I want these couches facing out and then the TV facing like that or do I want it like maybe we could do this. This might make the most sense. You just better not tip over that couch bestie. <laughs> this jungle adventure plant has like saved my life a million times. I just spent an embarrassing amount of time with the tool mod trying to just simply rotate this painting. This rug has a design on it, but because it's so light colored, like you literally can't see it. I might just do that. Oh, and I never got like wallpaper or anything. Ooh, we want to keep, maybe we go pastel yellow, oh, but we have yellow 
yellow couches. I was thinking maybe we could do something different. A blue could be pretty cute. Wait, that is pretty cute. Wait, I forgot to do lighting in the dining room as well. We have to do all the lighting. Well, that's pretty good. Just those two by the TV. I can size these lights down and then place them like they're behind the painting. No one will suspect a thing. There we go. There we go. All right, last two rooms. We'll do like a main bedroom and we'll do a kid's room. But first we need to get the ladders up to these rooms. I, I have no words. I don't know what to say. I think I'm just gonna sneak them in the back here. Or would it be better if they're in the front? Like this will literally be the highlight of the room. Like it's simply just the bed. Cause I think that would be still functional if your sim can get out on either side, but we all know your sim will be like, um, I actually can't. I don't know what you're talking about. A lot of items in the Sims are very cute. And then I always act so surprised. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's actually cute. Maybe this one will do the pastel yellow because that is, you know what I'm gonna say? It's really cute. And then I don't know what to put behind the diagonal bed. You know what? I guess we could just do the bed like that. I don't know why I was making it so dramatic. You can literally just put the bed like that. And if your Sims scoot, then you're totally fine. And if they don't, I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't always put a lamp on the bedside tables, but because of our lighting situation, I have to. Why is it kind of really cute? Why am I kind of really obsessed? I'm sorry, everybody. Then we need a rug. These rooms are actually going really quick because everybody knows I'm not one to clutter. Ooh, what about a diagonal rug? Does that just like throw off the lines of the room? I think it kind of does. That might be a little bit better. This is the new rug from the new kit. Maybe these from Dream Home Decorator just because we don't have any other plants in this room. Okay, stop. It's so cute. Now, what did I do with the lighting? Oh, the lighting? That's acceptable to me. I'm not gonna touch it. And let's do a kid's room. I love that wall. We'll do some yellow bunk beds, you know, a little side table. I love how small this little bedside table is. It makes so much sense. We can do a cute kid's dresser. And then we need a, do we need a mirror? We don't like need one, need one. I'll put one right there. Is that weird? I literally can't tell. What a ball pit. What if I just did that? And then what's like a fun kid's rug? I mean, this one is fun. It's not specifically a kid's rug. Again, with the diagonal though. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. I wish we could have it, like, go to the corner. Pokemon go to the corner. Could just do something like that. Because that's, like, that's pretty average looking. Wait, no, I kind of love it. Okay, I'm obsessed. I would like a plant. Now we're in the dilemma again, where I don't want to put anything here because it, like, obstructs the view of the house. I mean, the ladders are, in fact, already obstructing the view. It's, like, teeny tiny little plant. I don't know. The kids are gonna get into the dirt and mess it all up anyway. It's fine. We don't need a plant. But I think this is our house. I'm gonna just, like, finish it up, play test it. I'm gonna just add some walls to the back here. It's really cute. I really, really like this idea. And let's look at it at night. Oh, I don't think I added more lights to the kids' room. There we go. <gasps> no, because it's so cute, right? So the one thing I realized is what Sydney did is she drew rooms back here and then hid the ladders in the back and made doors into each room. Why didn't I think of that? That is so much smarter. Maybe I'll do a little reno and put like that one on TikTok and the gallery as well, but this is the one I'm leaving here for YouTube. Now the final verdict is can the Sims get all the way up there? Well, bestie can cook. We do know that. Okay, I really do think this is fully functional, so that's amazing. All right, I think that's the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. That really, really helps me out. And if you're not following me on TikTok already, please go follow me. We're so close to 100,000. And I also stream on Twitch four times a week. This weekend, we'll be streaming for charity. So please, please, please go drop a follow if you'd like to come hang out with me over there. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! That was fun. I enjoyed that, genuinely. <laughs>